What is up, everybody? Welcome to another episode brought to you by Backyard Zombie. Today is part one of the Death Watch Hunter uh, series I'll be doing, showing you how I make my Mandalorian custom armor. And part one is the helmet, so I'm going to be showing you how I customized this Ruby's Boba Fett helmet to make my custom Mandalorian helmet. So yeah, let's get started. Before this project even started, I actually reached out to a YouTuber by the name of Dave of All Trades. And his YouTube channel, he does a lot of Star Wars props and he does a bunch of Boba Fett helmets using this same Boba Fett helmet, which is the Ruby's Boba Fett helmet. And he does this thing on his YouTube videos where he 3D prints rangefinder extension pieces. The stock Ruby's um, extension pieces of the rangefinder is this piece. And this is the part that goes on the side of the ear that can uh, bring the rangefinder down and it's it's very small for the stock piece well i he i reached out to him and i was like hey i don't have access to a 3d printer can we work out a deal and maybe you can send me one of your um rangefinder staff pieces I, again i don't know the proper term and we worked out a deal and i want to thank you dave for working this deal with me and he was nice enough to send me two of these and this is so cool um, that I was able to work this deal out with him because if, as you can see from the comparison It's much longer and it makes the helmet look way more accurate um, I'm gonna show you how I put it in, into the helmet But I've already installed one of them into this helmet just to test it out and as you can see it Works perfectly and it's super cool and it makes the helmet look super cool. So yeah, thanks Dave. Here is a comparison of the rubies rangefinder staff piece versus the one I had 3D printed. It's uh, it's a little longer and a little more accurate. So yeah, that's going on you bad boy. I just installed David Trade's 3D printed rangefinder piece, which already makes the rangefinder 10 times better. 10 times more accurate. I actually had to use a, um, a screw, a tiny screw to actually hold it in place because I lost the peg that Dave gave me when he sent this to me. But uh, I'm already loving it. It makes the helmet look 10 times more accurate. And yeah, I'm stoked. And now I think we're going to tape it up, start sanding. And the cool thing about this helmet is that it comes apart in pieces. So just take this off, put it to the side, and leave it there, and focus on the helmet. Also, before you even start painting, have an idea of like kind of like the detail work you you want to do. Um, these were just some of my ideas. I actually printed out a bunch of these uh, like Mandalorian like stencils, and I just like you know one day I just decided to draw these, and then I think I'm actually gonna go with design number one which is just like a, a base of brown and a bunch of different types of greens with some like silver scuff marks here and there. But yeah, just have an idea of where you want to start so you are motivated. Motivated. So I decided to, instead of filling this hole, to heat up the inside and push it through. So now I'm putting other dents on the helmet so it just looks battle damaged. I know I should have like, I should put Bondo in here and just sand it down, but I don't have Bondo currently. And I kind of want to just make this look really damaged and dented. So I'm going to just be like heating up the plastic, shoving stuff into it, and then making it look really like this thing has seen hell. So yeah. And the priming has begun. I think I'm done. What do you think? I can't see a thing, but I think I'm done. And now we start painting the inside, just so it's all uniform. I've been not documenting, but I'm just having a really hard time painting this bad boy. And I think now I'm going for this like camo slash like woodland look. And so far I really like it. I like this uh, cool like line design I have going on. I'm gonna fix it up later. And in a few minutes I'm gonna add some silver and see where I go from there. And now I'm adding some Arabesh back of the helmet and some flare. Uh, if you can uh, read Arabesh, tell me what that says, please, in the comments down below. That'd be hilarious if you can tell me. This is an Easter egg for a uh, very famous um, film franchise, and that is the name of the character. So, yeah, and 
now we're just going in, going in with like a silver sharpie and like highlighting all of like the details. So yeah, it looks pretty cool so far. Pew pew pew, pew pew pew, pew 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 pew. You're no good to me, dead. This is the way. And there you go. That's how I uh, made my custom Mandalorian helmet. Um, yeah, I hit some snags. You gotta be patient with this kind of stuff. Uh, sometimes you gotta do some research on how paints react with the paints. And uh, you really just gotta, you gotta be patient. That's, that's the main thing I'm trying to work on with this project. I gotta be more patient. I really wanted to get it done before I left and I got it done. I'm happy with it right now. Um, and yeah, just, uh, sometimes you gotta know to, when to walk away from a project as, uh, as one of my friends put it. And then I started doing more research and then thank God I found out, uh, about Sabine Wren who her entire like thing is doing cool graffiti art on her helmets, uh, in this is uh, Star Wars Rebels. And I'm like, okay, yeah, she's my inspiration for this. So this guy is like, He's a bounty hunter and he's mostly like woodland, but he like, he knows how to like deck out his armor for, for the hunt. So that's kind of like where I'm going with that. Also, on other news, I have made a limited run of Backyard Zombie official stickers. These are limited edition. Uh, there's only a hundred of these being made and I'm going to be giving some away. I'm going to be sending to some to some of my favorite influencers. And yeah, so if you want to try to win one of these, please follow us on Instagram at Backyard Zombie 2021. And yeah, you can uh, you can join the Backyard Zombie gang. So yeah, uh, God, that sounded lame. But yeah, so if you want to win one of those stickers, follow us on Instagram. We're going to be doing a giveaway here shortly. So yeah, thank you for watching.